Hi, I'm Kevin Hartley and welcome to Kevin Hartley Photography in my office. This is a channel that I've set up to share my experiences of wildlife and nature with others. So let's go. Hi, in this video what I want to do is share with you my experience of photographing little owls. I'm very fortunate that I've been given permission by uh, a local farmer to access his land to photograph the wildlife. And on one of my recce's I've came across um, a little owl and what I've done is I've photographed it. So what I want to do is share that experience with you and we'll look, generally look at little owls and uh, how they live here in the UK. So let's go meet the little owl. Okay, if you're really interested in um, photographing little owls, I would say that one of the most important things in any wildlife um, you want to, to, to photograph or film is you've got to know your subject, um, and that means carrying out some research. Now, that doesn't mean that you've got to pay to do that. Uh, YouTube's probably the, the, the best platform for, for finding out about it, and the, the two people I would recommend off YouTube are Simon Wantling, who's a wildlife photographer, and Robert E. Fuller, who's a wildlife artist and lives up in North Yorkshire. Uh, they've done some brilliant, brilliant stuff on Little Owls. Um, with regards to research, there's two books that I would recommend. first one is this book here from the ISPB, which is uh, Spotlight on Owls by Marianne Taylor. And this older book, um, called, simply called Owls by Chris Mead gives a, quite an in-depth look at owls in the United Kingdom. Both books are very uh, worthwhile researching. So get to know your subject, do a bit of research on little owls before you go out and photograph them. The little owl is about 8 to 9 inches tall, which is roughly about hand, side, hand sized. It's got a flat topped head. Its facial expression is such that the eyes which are yellow it actually looks above them if they've got eyebrows and it always looks as if they're frowning. The plumage itself is brown, white, grey in patches which are streaked and, and barred with white. Uh, the underparts are, are mainly pale uh, and, and streaked with some darker colour. And the little owl was firstly introduced into the United Kingdom in the, the 19th century by rich landowners who wanted to protect their, their gardens and especially their orchards um, from birds like bullfinches. Um, today you predominantly find them, um, I would suggest, in farmland. The tawny owl is one of its main predators. Um, that's why you, you won't find too many of them in woodland. Uh, and you'll also find them in cemeteries. Little Owl's diet consists mainly of um, small mammals and birds, uh, beetles and, and worms. Little Owls have a number of predators, previously stated the, the tawny owl, then you have the sparrowhawk, the buzzard, mainly found in, in woodlands, that's why you won't find Little Owls in, in a lot of woodland. Additional predators, you're looking at things like foxes, stoats and weasels. The Little Owl has a, a very distinctive um, alarm call, uh, you'll normally when a, a little owl is alarmed, it will look towards the sky, as you can see in, in, in the, the following photographs. Little owls bond or, or, or pair together uh, normally for life is the, the majority of cases. They occupy a single territory and the habitats that I've sort of described before. When you're looking at the places where they'll, they'll nest, you're looking at holes and crevices and things like trees. They'll use nest boxes, rocks, um, wood piles where, where I found um, this pair. And they'll also occupy buildings and, and burrows. 
The nest, if it's not in a burrow, uh, can be anything up to about 40 foot off the ground. And the mating period is from the end of March to, to, to the end of April. And little owls lay between two to five eggs, which are white in colour, and the incubation period lasts for up to 28 days. In this part of the video, what I want to do now is share with you what I would say would be my top five tips for photographing little owls. I've had a fantastic time in the presence of these beautiful little birds. So these are the five tips that I want to share with you. Okay, tip number five. Know your subject and research. Um, really important to, to fully understand everything about little owls as much as you can. For instance, the, the call that they make is critical to actually ID them. Tip number four. Use a telephoto lens. As the name suggests, little owls are little. Um, I use a 200-500mm to Nikon telephoto lens, that gives me more options for composition. So, tip number four, use a telephoto lens. Tip number three, keep your distance and know your limits. Um, little owls are, can be approachable, but they have to get used to your presence. So, you need to be aware of things like their alarm call, um, and if you see an owl bobbing up and down, uh, it's a, a sure sign that they're about to um, move away. Don't scare them. Give them space. Tip number two, patience. Uh, it's, um, for any wildlife photographer, patience is so important. Let the owl try and get used to your presence so that it's comfortable with you. Um, use a hide if you can. Um, that will get you that little bit closer. Uh, and be field craft aware. Um, about things like your clothing and your movement um, so that you if you're patient with the, the little owl it'll be patient with you and you should be able to get that a little bit closer and get the photographs you're after. Tip number one on how to photograph little owls. Focus on the eyes and the talons. Um, little owls have a habit um, when the sun's out that they'll, they will sit, actually sit out in the sunshine and they're pretty much static um, so you can get some really good photographs of them. The photograph that you're really looking for is with the eyes wide open so that you see the beautiful yellow in their eyes and try and get the talons into focus as well. Uh, and that is, the, that is the perfect photograph of a little owl. So focus on the eyes and on the talons. Okay, that covers the top five tips that I've got for photographing little owls. What I'd like to do now is share with you what I consider to be my favourite little owl photographs that I've taken during this project to photograph the little owls, which I've thoroughly enjoyed. So please enjoy. Thanks for watching this edition of Kevin Hatley Photography and how to photograph little owls. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have actually um, having the experience of being able to do that. And I, I need to thank the, the farmer for allowing me permission to come onto his land um, to, to see the, the little owls and to photograph them. Um, if you've liked this video, uh, could I ask you just to hit the like button. Uh, if you'd like to see more, uh, could I ask you to subscribe to my channel Kevin Hatley Photography on YouTube. Uh, it's completely free, it doesn't cost anything, um, and I hope to see you soon, so stay safe, take care, bye for now.